Hello, and welcome to another Cuz Bad Guys Tactical Breakdown. In today's breakdown, we are going to go over Nissa Al Ghul, so the daughter to the demon's head. This is going to be the youngest daughter of Raz Al Ghul, and she is also from the... Uh, this model is from the CW TV series. Uh, great character, really, really good. Uh, she is a character that has a back claw, so has tons of movement. Uh, she's also very defensive, has a great pose, has some scenery that she's actually standing on. And we're going to go ahead and get right on into her character card. So like I was saying, this is Nissa Al Ghul, but her name is actually Nissa Ratko because she takes the name of her mother. So she is a rank sidekick for the League of Shadows. Her weapons are going to be a bow, which is going to be two blood, rate of fire one, like standard for a bow. She has three ammo, which is going to be pretty awesome because normally when people get ammo, they only have two shots, but she's got three. And then it is mechanic, so damage is on a three plus and ignores the bulletproof vest special rule. So damaging on a three plus. And then it has aim, so she can't move before or after shooting it. Uh, but she does have a personal trait that can let her shoot and move. You just got to pay the uh, willpower to be able to do it. Her second weapon is going to be a Kruki, which I believe is spelled incorrectly. Uh, I, I know it as a Kukri. Uh, I think this might just be a translation error or something. Uh, it's a great weapon. It is a single blood for damage. It is close combat, so no rate of fire or ammo. It is sharp, so she is able to reroll damages for it, which is going to be pretty good. And then it is defensive, so she gets to reroll blocking in close combat, which is really going to help her out. This is a very defensive character and uh, really, really good for blocking objectives, keeping people from getting points, and then also shooting people with her bow, doing uh, clean up for the crew. Let's go ahead and go right on into her stats. So she is willpower six, which is going to be pretty standard for sidekicks and uh, medium level free agents. Willpower six is going to let her do quite a bit of stuff during her activation. She doesn't have all the willpower to be able to do all the different things that she wants, but she has enough willpower to be able to either get to where she needs with movement or attack somebody. Uh, so pretty good, you've just got to plan her out pretty well. She is then strength four plus, which is pretty awesome because most women in the uh, women characters in the Batman universe are strength five, and she is strength four plus. And then the Kukri has sharp, so you're damaging on a 50% chance in close combat, with a reroll, so pretty high. She is then movement three, attack three, defense four, and endurance seven. Movement three is gonna be pretty standard for sidekicks in uh, medium level free agents. She is an acrobat and she does have the back claw, so she is highly mobile with that movement three. Uh, movement 3 is also going to give her a 50% chance of dodging when she's uh, trying to dodge bullets and stuff because she has the acrobat special rule, so pretty good. She's then attack 3, which uh, she is more of a shooter than a brawly character. So attack 3 can kind of let her down with her kukri in close combat, but it's more than good enough for her to be able to shoot at people with her bow. Her defense four, uh, like I always say, defense four is what I look for when I am uh, selecting characters for a crew. Defense four is really high and it's really good. Uh, she's only going to be getting hit 50% of the time when she gets shot at or when she gets attacked in close combat. Uh, very good. It also gives her a ton of counters if you need her to block an objective from an opponent 
and she can go and sit on that. That defensive is also going to help her out with that, so she can re-roll her defense dice for blocking. And then her Endurance 7. So Endurance 7 is pretty high. Normally, sidekicks and uh, medium-level free agents are going to be Endurance 6. Uh, she does kind of pay for it with her reputation cost being Endurance 7, but totally worth it. With her being a uh, a shooter and a fast shooter because of her back claw and stuff, she almost never goes down unless an opponent really focuses on her just because of her Endurance 7. So let's go ahead and go on to her personal trait. So her first personal trait is something I've already touched a little bit on. It's going to be the Acrobat Special Rule, which is going to be uh, a trait that almost everybody is going to love and want. Uh, it makes it so she is base movement 12 instead of 10. She also can ignore hindering terrain, so she can jump over cars and uh, like little barriers and walls and stuff. It also gives her the dodge special rules, so she can dodge incoming shots. And it's just a rule that normally people look for. Her next personal trait is going to be Elite Boss Ninjas. So with her being an affiliate of the League of Shadows, a lot of their henchmen, like specialty henchmen, are going to be the ninjas, which are great characters. They're really high in defense, uh, really good henchmen to have. They also do a ton of blood damage just because of their weapon loadout. And if you take Nissa in your crew, you can take more than a single ninja, which is going to be really, really good. Her next personal trait is going to be good aim. Good aim is going to help out that bow shot because bows have the aim special rule. Good aim means that if you spend a special counter, you can move and still shoot your bow. So you can move and shoot your bow or shoot your bow and be able to move makes it so Nissa can keep being mobile and still put out damage while on the move. Her next personal trait is going to be a hook arrow, so the back claw. Uh, this is going to be spending a move in a special and you get to do the 30 centimeter move as long as you do a vertical change during your movement. This is something that's going to make her very, very mobile. Uh, really, really good stuff and is kind of rare to see outside of a Batman crew. Her next personal trait is going to be martial artist. So just like any other character that's been trained in close combat and fighting multiple people, she is not going to suffer from numerical superiority. So if she's based by multiple people, her defense does not drop, uh, which is really good. So she can like I've been saying, stand on an opponent's objective and block points. And with that defensive trait from the Kukri, uh, block a ton of in incoming attacks and survive. Her next personal trait is going to be Master Marksman. So this is going to help her out with that bow shot even more. So her bow shot is only rate of fire one, so you, you've only got that one dice to try to hit somebody, and Master Marksman is a reroll to hit. So it gives you another chance if you miss on that shot. It's really, really good, and I love that she has this trait. Her next personal trait is going to be Reflexes. So capitalizing even more on that defensive trait of the Kukri, uh makes her even more defensive so reflexes are going to let you re-roll agility tests so with acrobat you get to dodge bullets reflexes lets you re-roll dodging those bullets so she gets to re-roll blocks and she gets to re-roll dodging bullets so really really defensive character is really good at uh getting in the way of the enemy and making them use their shots, making them use their attack dice, and can usually block and dodge incoming attacks. Her last personal trait is going to be Stealth. So just like any good ninja, she uh, can hide in the shadows and not get shot at, unless you want her to. 
uh, because of her reflexive traits and the acrobat special rule with dodge. Uh, Stealth says that instead of the standard 30 centimeters being able to be seen, she can only be seen at 20 centimeters. Uh, So like I said, any good ninja, she is going to be all on top of that with Stealth. So let's go ahead and go on to her reputation and funding costs. Her reputation is going to be 83 points and her funding is going to be $300. So 83 reputation is going to be a little steep for her stat card, uh, like her stat line, uh, just because you would expect maybe movement four, uh, just because 83 points, it's a little high. Uh, A character like Harley Quinn does have movement four at 75 points, but Nyssa is very defensive she has reflexes and then she has the defensive trait on her weapon so all kinds of re-rolls to block and dodge attacks uh, so that is kind of what you're paying for with her reputation cost she is also going to be very mobile with her weapon so the good aim trait is really going to help her out with the bow uh, along with the back claw so she is going to always be able to get into position to make a shot um, it's pretty worth it. She is really good, uh, running as a sidekick for a League of Shadows crew. I really like her. I really enjoy playing with her. Uh, the funding, the $300 is going to be for her bow shot. Uh, she does have three ammo, so, uh, pretty, pretty high. Normally ammo people get two ammo. And having three shots from Nissa is really good. Uh, like I said, I always run her as uh, kind of cleanup for the crew. And she is very defensive and can block points from opponents. So let's go ahead and talk about uh, strengths and weaknesses. Her strengths are going to be her speed and her defensive capabilities. So because she has defensive on her Kukri and because she has reflexes in her personal traits, uh, she's very defensive, can really run uh, disruption on an opponent, uh, really block objective points. And because of her speed, she can get to where she needs to be to either do that bow shot to finish off an opponent that's trying to run away or get to an objective to block points. She can, uh, because of her speed, she can run to a loot counter and go and pick it up and then go and give it to someone else. I've found that this kind of is a waste of her ability uh, just because she's so good at disruption and cleanup that uh, she can follow up somebody like Deadshot who runs up and shoots somebody. And then when that henchman or free agent or whoever Deadshot just shot tries to run away and not be killed to give up uh, points, Nyssa can run them down. Uh, Because of her speed and because she can uh, make those vertical leaps with the back claw, get on top of buildings, all of that stuff, People really can't run away from her. She's really good at cleanup. Her weaknesses are going to be uh, you don't want to overextend her and have too many people target her. Because she's only willpower 6, she doesn't have all kinds of counters to be able to uh, always be dodging bullets, always be blocking close combat attacks. So you want to make sure not to put her too into the thick of it. Uh... The way I run her is I will jump her onto uh, like an ammo crate or something and block someone from getting points for a turn. And then the next turn I'll have her jump away and put a bow shot somewhere. And then she'll jump back uh, at at, at the end of the next turn, like as my last activation to block points again. Uh, And just blocking points every other turn like that and not sitting there taking a ton of hits, it's really, really good because you'll, you'll keep blocking points from your opponent and any point that you block from your opponent 
is the closer to you winning the game because the Batman miniatures game is all about victory points and that's the stuff that matters. Let's go ahead and go on to the model that I've painted. Uh, so this is my Nissa. I did a blue and orange scheme. I wanted her to kind of match Deathstroke because I really love running ninjas with Deathstroke and Nissa because she is an elite boss ninja. She can actually be the boss for the crew. And because she's so defensive and so hard to kill and how mobile she is, uh, she's actually a really good boss for the crew. I really like running her, running her with Deathstroke, and that's why I painted her this way, uh, matching the oranges and the blues. Really, really like it. And then I also painted my ninjas to have orange highlights on them in their uniforms, just because Deathstroke and the Deathstroke family are awesome. They're some of my favorite comic book characters. Uh, really good stuff. All right, so let me know what you guys think. How do you guys play this character? And remember, cause bad guys. <laughs>